Hi, Terry Vanderheiden here. I'm going to show you how to make a proof book out of Lightroom 4. So when Lightroom 4 was introduced, I was really jazzed because they included a book module which uh, uh, allowed you to flow your images into a book into Blurb, which is really cool. But what I'd really like is the ability to make a proof book out of that. And in order to do that, Lightroom is not set up to enable you to have your file names underneath each image. And that was really difficult. So I found a workaround and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing you do is edit down your images. I've got an event here where this is just a selection of images just to make things go a little bit faster in this demo. So there's about 200 images and I put them into a collection. You probably know how to do a collection, uh, but real simply you come over to collections and you click and add a new one and put all your images into that collection. It makes things a lot easier to work with. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to edit come down and select all. So we're selecting all the images in our collection. In this case, there's 222. Now the first portion of this setup is we're gonna go over to print, click on print, and you see all of our images are gonna be flowed into, into whatever it's set up to be. So I don't know what the defaults are, but the first thing we're gonna do is change it to contact sheet. And then the, the next thing you have to do is scroll down and go down to printer and select not printer, but JPEG file. So we select JPEG file. And then we also, I'm gonna be making a 12 by 12 book. So what we wanna do is we wanna make a custom file dimension. So you click on custom file dimensions and we're gonna punch in 12 and 12 again. So now we got a 12 by 12 book and you can see how this is starting to shape up because I want a big square proof book. So a couple things you need to do as you're building this. One is you wanna, these usually are set to default. So you wanna take those off to rotate the fit and you also want zoom to fill off because you want the full image there so the customer can see what it is. So obviously we're about ready to go except we've, we're still missing a couple of things. And the most important thing that we're missing is the file name. So down under here, under page, and then to photo info, we click on photo info, and instead of caption, we scroll down until we get the file name. So what we wanna do is have our file name come up under each file, and we've done that here. You can also have the ability, depending on what you're looking for, uh, I like to have the background color to black, so I changed that to black, and I think that looks nice. And we've come over here, we've changed it to uh, 300 PPI, that way it's gonna print out really nice. So what we're gonna do is then tell Lightroom to print all these contact sheets out to a file. And I just usually put it on my desktop because I'm gonna access it shortly. So we just click print to file, and go through the regular hierarchy of putting out a file into uh, onto the desktop, into a folder. Then we'll come back and we're gonna flow these back into Lightroom and utilize them from there. So Lightroom has printed all of these images onto a contact sheet into a file and now we go back into uh, the library mode, hit import, and we're gonna import all of these images back into Lightroom. So selecting all the images, you can see they look like contact prints, but these are their own images, or in fact, even file named uh, mm -hmm. separately. So all you do is set those for import and click import. So the last uh, part of this tutorial is we're going to go into our images that we've just imported. We'll see them here, sample proof pages. We can bring those up here, and you can see how all of these images uh, have been imported back into Lightroom as separate images. Now we're gonna take those images and go on over to the book module. Click on book. And the first thing we wanna do is to tell the book module what it is that we wanna build. So remember, I was doing a 12 by 12 book. So we're gonna pull this down and get to the 12 by 12, the large square. And then uh, we're going to stay with the hardcover image wrap and um, leave all of these premium luster, you don't have much of a choice there. So as we're, now we're ready to flow our images. So again, we've got our collection. We've made another collection of the proof pages. You can see there's 37 in a, 37 of them in, uh, in the proof book. And uh, um, we're getting ready to flow them. So we go into auto layout and click flow. Now what is really neat is, is Lightroom goes, goes ahead and puts these all in order, of the order that they were in your collection, which is nice. Now what we gotta do, we just have to fix the cover and uh, back cover. So we go up here and usually what I'll do is I'll delete that, delete that, then we'll double click on it because we wanna work on the spine. So uh, again, since I'm working with black pages, I wanna make 
the background black. So we're going to get in here and we'll come over here to here's all of our type tools right in here. And if we scroll down just a little bit more, we can see the background color. We click on background color and I'm going to make that black. Pretty simple. And I'm going to type in here test proof. So here you can see I picked this type style. You can pick anything you like. You can change the size of your text depending on what it is you want. Now the way to do that is you select it just like any other your programs. You select the size that you want. Um, you can select the tracking if you'd like to tighten it up or stretch it out depending on what you're looking for. And then uh, down a little bit farther you can see you can have it uh, to the right or I like to have it centered. And then this is also this section here. These three items here are for the being able to center it on the line. So I usually put the middle one. You can see if we put it lower, it moves down a little bit and it's a little bit nicer to have it centered on that line. So you've done our text and now what we do is we go back and show the grid mode here in the book, uh, book, book module. Now the only thing I'm missing is some cover pictures. So what I did is I, uh, in advance, I went over and I made a couple of cover pictures. Uh, that's just taking a couple of images, probably doing a little bit of retouching on them, put them into their own collection. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that and watch what happens. This is pretty neat. Uh, Lightroom puts those two images into your pages. Now, if you can notice down here at the bottom, all these pages have a one on them, meaning that they've been used once. So these do not. So we can just simply drag these up and put that as my front cover. And then drag this one up, put that as our back cover. And so now we've got uh, the book laid out the way we want it. All the proof pages, you can see if we look at all of the pages as we move through, you can scroll to the right. You can see all the pages have all of the file names in it and makes it really easy for the customer to uh, go ahead and order from. So uh, that's how you make a proof book, pretty simple. And then the next thing you do, last thing you do rather is just upload it to Blurb, get it printed and get it to your customer. Mm -hmm.